Hey, it's Haley at Seamwork, and welcome to another monthly fabric video. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through the fabrics that we used for the November 2020 photo shoot. We're gonna look at the Devon dress and the Baz coat. The Devon dress is a really comfy, cozy sweater dress. It has some really great details, like a dramatic collar and a cocoon shape. It also has long sleeves and a drop shoulder. This dress comes together super quickly and you can use a wide range of knits. You're gonna wanna look for knits with a 20, 25-ish percent stretch ratio. Um, and you can go for things a little bit on the lighter side um, or on the more medium weight side. It's just going to change up the look of the dress and the silhouette if you want the dress to fall more closely to the body and cling a little bit more, then definitely go for something a little lighter weight if you want something with a bit more body um, and structure for th that collar especially, then look for something a little bit more medium to heavyweight. Fabrics that are gonna work include jerseys like cotton jersey or wool jersey, different blends, Hachi knits, uh, French terry, Ponty. Um, these are all gonna be phenomenal options for the Devon dress. This month I bought all of our sample fabrics locally here in Portland at Mill End. Uh, the first sample I'm gonna show you is this really great striped Devon dress. This is a Hachi knit. Um, and these knits are in the sweater knit category, but they are really fine. Um, they have a pretty smooth hand, but they have that more obvious knit texture to them. Really great for a project like this. It drapes um, pretty softly um, and gives the collar a little bit um, more relaxed look. I really love how this sample turned out. This month's member bonus swaps out Devon's fitted sleeve for a gathered sleeve and a fitted cuff. Um, for this more dramatic look, I wanted to choose something that really complemented um, the dramatic sleeve, so I went with this amazing red fabric. It is a wool jersey. Wool jersey is a real pleasure to sew with for a few reasons. It's nice and stable, but it still has a good amount of stretch um, so that you are comfortable in those fitted sleeves or the fitted cuff in this case. It also is a little bit more lightweight. It's not very, that's to say that it's not very bulky. However, it's wool, so it's really insulating, so great for layering up with um, during the colder seasons. Let's talk about the Baz coat. I love this project because you get a lot of bang for your buck. It's not incredibly difficult to sew. In fact, it comes together pretty quickly. However, it is really elevated and beautiful and elegant, and I just think it's a phenomenal pattern. So Baz is a wrap style coat. It has a kind of angular shawl collar and a nice belt with a uh, belt loops at the side to keep that in place. And it also has a really cool side seam patch pocket um, that I think is really clever. It's simple, it comes together really easily, but it's just kind of a fun design detail. So let's get into the fabrics for Baz. For Baz, you're gonna wanna look for heavier weight knit fabrics. Um, things like Ponty, French terry, sweater knits, these are all going to be phenomenal options. You could also look for boucles. You don't need a ton of stretch for this project because it has some good built-in ease. Um, you just want to make sure that the fabric has a little bit of body so that the collar and other details aren't completely falling flat. This is not a place where you'd want to break out um, your jersey knits, for instance. Thank you. 
let's look at the samples for this month's patterns. For the Baz coat, I went with two types of sweater knits. Now, sweater knits, they're kind of this really overwhelming category of fabrics. Um, they're knits that um, typically have a more open or exaggerated knit structure that are made to look like hand knit fabrics. Um, so yeah, pretty broad, right? Um, I wanted to make sure that I was showing you two super different kinds of sweater knit. The first one I have here, um, it almost looks like a woven kind of tweed fabric at first glance, but it is not. On the wrong side, it's really smooth. It almost has the look of a ponty knit, and the loop structure is really kind of close and densely knit. And then on the right side, we have this really great uh, slubby texture. This particular sweater knit is a polyester cotton spandex, and I think there was a little bit of rayon in there too, and you can really feel um, the best properties of all of those fibers in here. Um, yeah, really great option. Um, if you're newer to sweater knits, I would look for something more like this guy, something that's more tightly knit, isn't gonna be as prone to unraveling, and just is gonna have a, an overall better sewing experience, more um, like a ponte or something like that. Let's look at another example of sweater knit. Here I have the fabric that we used for the hack sample, and it is this really pretty kind of pinky, beigey, coppery sweater knit. This is what I would call like a more advanced level sweater knit. If you're feeling confident or you've worked with sweater knits before, I think this is a really great option. You can see here that the weave is a lot more open. Um, this makes this fabric less stable to work with. So you might want to do things like um, using fusible stay tape or clear elastic to stabilize different aspects um, of your garment if you go with a sweater knit like this. On the plus side, you're going to get a really cool um, high-end look when you're working with a fabric like this and it's going to give the appearance of um, a hand knit um, coat which is um, really lovely and beautiful. So there you have it, all of the fabrics we used in the November 2020 issue of Seamwork. I hope you guys are enjoying the patterns. If you haven't looked at them already, go on and hop over to seamwork.com, check all of those out, and as always, I cannot wait to see what you make. <laughs>